there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swish and a reviewing here at the SPY. I'll look at the Dow, too. This is the SPY. Just want to see here how we closed on Friday. Not as bullish as I would have liked us to close, but there was some negative political news out Friday afternoon, and then the market fell. We looked really nice right up until about lunchtime. Actually, I'll just blow this up in here. In fact, we got over that number of 275, which I wanted to see in the SPY, but we didn't close over it. We didn't hold it. And so what does that mean for this week? Markets closed today. What it means is that we need to open tomorrow morning somewhere in anywhere, anywhere at all in the bar from Friday. Anywhere from the low to the high or above it is good for the market to hold and move higher into this week. However, if we do not do that, which right now they're saying the futures are down. I don't get futures data, but I just got an alert about it. If, if for some reason we, ended, we end up tomorrow morning opening, gapping down, from the close on Friday or even under the low from Friday's bar, it's going to be tough for us to hold. It's going to be tough for us to hold next week. And again, that does not mean that we're not higher, but I will say I was shocked that the rally that we had last week was so strong. So I'll be even more shocked if we don't open strong on Tuesday morning and go just because the futures are down right now. It's, tomorrow morning is a long, long, long time away. So I think that it's going to be a touch and go this week for the market. Short week, and we really did not close as strong as I would have liked to see last week, considering the rally that we had in the week. You still have lots of bulls here in this market, but you have some people that now are anticipating the market is going to make another move down and fall and break. And we could come down here if we do and retest it, or we could break it. It's more likely, though, i got to be honest with you, if we, if we break again and fall into the rally that happened last week, we won't hold this. I just we're just not going to hold this. So I'd rather see the market hold and move higher and do everything it's supposed to do and more. It's going to be sloppy trading if we break under here. It does not mean we're going to go back down here, but I'm telling you, if we do go back down here, we will not hold this thing here. So that will not be good. So we're just going to have to wait and see. I don't know what the market does this week. I think that the rally last week was big and strong, and I was surprised that we did it so quickly, but it would have been much, much better for the market to close near the highs on Friday. There was political news which affected the market in the afternoon, and it fell, but we do need to open Tuesday and hold anywhere from Friday's low to the high or above. So I guess we're going to wait and see. Let's just a quick look at the Dow. Same, same concept here, though, the Dow. Again, 255, we didn't get over it yet. I said we have to get over that number. 255, we got close, but then the, then the political news fell. 254, 12, close, 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 but no cigar. So I do not want to see anything here that drops this week. If we do, we'll be sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. And again, if we come down in this area, we will not hold it. It doesn't mean, again, we're not strong. It doesn't mean we're going to break the trend. Even if we come down and break this pivot, we are still strong. We're still in an uptrend in all the markets, Q's, Spy, Dow, all of it. But it's going to mean sloppy trading because you're going to have the fighting between the bulls and the bears and the bulls and the bears, even though the control is still to the upside. All you have to do is look at this and see. So good luck, everyone. If you trade this week, be very, very careful and watch tomorrow morning. I'll be looking at it in the room in the morning. If you're interested in more information and learning how I figure all this out and make the predictions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great week, everyone.